What's up everyone, Mark Lobliner, CEO, MTS Nutrition, and just so you know, I'm credentialed to talk about this, CrossFit Level 1 Trainer. Okay, I took the weekend course. Hey, yay! Uh, so what is the current state of CrossFit? Now I have a couple, really, hey doggy, I have a couple really, really popular videos on YouTube about CrossFit and how it's gonna pop and fizzle. There's a dog here, see, look at that. How it's gonna pop and how it's gonna fizzle and how it's pretty much just gonna be a fad like Jazzercise and um, P90X and it's just, it's a fad. No, I didn't really mean it like that. CrossFit's like a super fad, right? Like CrossFit is a movement, okay? It is essentially a combination of cardio, weight training, calisthenics, Olympic weightlifting, powerlifting, all rolled into one, topped off with a rhabdomyolysis cherry. Now, CrossFit, the beautiful thing about it, it, got, it kept a lot of people in the gym, because people like me, one of the reasons I took up boxing is because I just got, dude, I've been training for 25 years. I'm fucking sick and tired of lifting weights. I put it up, pick it up, put it down, pick it up, put it down. I love doing it, but I needed a change, okay? So people thought that the only way they can make gains is by going and doing a standard bodybuilding workout. Pick it up, put it down, pick it up, put it down. Now CrossFit did pick it up, throw it over your head, run with it, sprain an ankle, tear a pec, they did a lot of really epic things with it, right? That they brought in this lifestyle, this culture, and they basically said interculturally that they're better than everybody else. Well, I'm a CrossFitter. You're just a bodybuilder. You can't run a 5K and then deadlift and squat and snatch and do a kipping pull-up, which is essentially a pull-up with really bad fucking form. I like CrossFit. I like Jazzercise. I like P90X. I like anything that gets people off their fucking fat asses. I like evening walks with dogs. I like bicycle riding. I like skateboarding. I like anything that gets people from being sedentary and keeps people healthy and basically cuts down our healthcare costs because people are fucking fat and sick. The one thing I think is happening is I do believe in it's part fiscal, part capitalistic, part whatever, is from a CrossFit name standpoint, it's essentially people are breaking off from the CrossFit franchise. Now I was actually going to franchise, have a CrossFit franchise, I'm a proof for it and everything, at my gym in Loveland, Ohio. We actually even put in that big rig. You know at the Tiger Fitness Gym we have that rig? Has all the monkey bars and all that shit. Six power rack stations. Wouldn't that be amazing for a wad? Like you could have six people, so you could have six different stations from squats, deadlifts, ball slams. We had everything, dude. I even created a CrossFit program. I'm gonna link down below. My CrossFit program was made for the everyday person. Look, I'm not gonna have a sedentary 45-year-old mother of two who goes to soccer games on weekends untrained do an overhead snatch. Oh, I put in partial snatches. I made it so everyone can do it. Look at it down below. I think it's a really good program. I think you'll really dig it. In fact, I even tried. I like it. I like CrossFit. Now, CrossFit right now, I believe, is plateaued and dropping. I don't have numbers. I don't have statistics. But I do know that I don't hear as much about it. And I don't see as many CrossFit gyms popping up and it could be because there's one on every corner. But I do think CrossFit has its place and will always has its place. Now I do believe Glassman, the founder, creator, and owner of CrossFit, is a bit weird. He's a bit kooky and most geniuses are. But he also started with Bill Phillips was out of his fucking mind, he still is. God bless his heart, I love the guy. Most successful people are. Glassman still dresses like he's homeless. He's obviously rich as fuck. CrossFit right now, my opinion on the state of CrossFit 
is it's still helping a lot of people get active. I don't see it growing as fast, if at all, but I see it always maintaining its part in the world. Think about it. Think about what this man, Glassman, did. He literally created a niche that's going to stay there. Yeah, bodybuilding, powerlifting, Olympic lifting, CrossFit. That's fucking epic. Not only that, they brought in a dietary lifestyle. Paleo blew the fuck up because of CrossFit. And thank you, CrossFit, because of you know, I'm selling a lot of outright bars and CrossFit gyms because it aligns with a lot of what CrossFitters do. Look, I took the CrossFit class and I, I've done videos reviewing. I don't want to make this another review on being a CrossFit trainer. I've mentored with Exos, which in my opinion is the best um, <clears throat> mentorship for training athletes, period. Period, if you ask most professional teams, most professional trainers, they'll tell you if you're phase three Exos, you've done something epic. I'm phase three Exos, that's awesome, right? <clears throat> that means I have time and money, is what it means to go through the fucking courses. Um, I've done everything from mentorship <clears throat> to training alongside some of the foremost trainers to training with the foremost trainers and exercise in performance, to being an athlete myself and training underneath some really good strength coaches, to being friends with many awesome strength coaches. Many awesome strength coaches. If you follow me on Twitter, you know I, I interact with these guys all the time. You know, and they're awesome people and I have a nice community of strength coaches and I think they would agree with me on this. In that, all these people, if you were to take a CrossFit class, at least the one I took, and they fly these instructors place to place, in theory and in teaching, CrossFit taught better form and better execution in a short 16-hour period of time than any program I've ever been a part of. CrossFit literally, actually, I think it was 20, 16 or 20 hours, of course, right? CrossFit showed the proper way to snatch in three different steps. Push press, every exercise, they demonstrated it. We did it, we perfected it, we executed it all while we were there. Phenomenal. And that's when we were in the WOD. We had a superset and <clears throat> there's obviously, they had different levels and there's one older gentleman and everybody already finished. He was the last one to go. I finished fourth out of 50, by the way. So anyway, I've never done any of this shit in my life, right? So dude had to finish a certain amount of reps. And the same instructors who were fucking amazing teachers, when it came to executing the WOD, this guy was doing this. He already had kyphosis in the back. His back was rounded. I was, I was seriously, this is not even exaggerating. I was afraid this man was gonna snap his fucking spine. Thank God he did it. Yeah. so much. Whoa, wait, what? What is this? <laughs> What's it called? The outright bar. Okay, I'm on board. Great. great. But instead of being like, if I'm training kids and if I'm training anybody and they have bad form, stop, time out, let's fix this, let's lower the weight. Nope. They barked at him and they encouraged him to keep doing things messed up. And they risked that man being injured. And for that, I'm not very happy with CrossFit because those are their instructors' instructors. <clears throat> so inevitably, when you do it in practice, in theory and in teaching, CrossFit is the most amazing thing ever. When they teach this thing, I, I, if you have it, if you are skeptical of CrossFit, don't be a hypocrite. Don't be someone who just talks shit without knowing everything. Do what I did. I was skeptical about CrossFit. I still don't do it. But I went and I became a CrossFit trainer. How am I going to understand it if I don't actually live it? And honestly, forget about them being a cult. That class had some of the nicest people held at a beautiful, nice place in somewhere in Illinois, I forgot where it was. CrossFit's fine, but in practice, combining complex lifts with reps, 
with weight, with time, it's a recipe for injury. That's the problem. So the state of CrossFit is, I think it's topped out, but I hope not. I think CrossFit, <clears throat> aside from keeping people in the exercise world, keeping them off their fat asses, I believe CrossFit brought new people in because people are social animals. They want to be a part of something. That's why people join cults. That's why there's Democrats and Republicans because people want to be a part of the team. Yeah, we won. We won. You're a Steelers fan. Do you even play on the fucking team? No, you sat in your basement with your little fucking terrible towel that you used to wipe up last night's ejaculate and you fucking cheered on your team. You're not a fucking player. People like to belong to shit. So if you see your next door neighbor, Becky, your 45 year old mother of two, okay? She's like, hey, Julie, this CrossFit class is so great. My instructor is so hot and we sweat and we feel like we're working out. And Julie's going to fucking join. And I'm going to go there and just ogle at MILFs all day long. But seriously, guys, <clears throat> CrossFit's good. So you see a lot of videos, a lot of hate videos. There's a lot of channels out there, I've noticed. They're very negative. And all they do is they go on about how bad things are. And their solution is always bodybuilding or powerlifting or whatever. But they're not motivating anybody to get better. They're just putting other people down. Here's the deal. If you get injured doing CrossFit, it's still better than the 100% chance you have of dying early from being sedentary and getting heart disease and diabetes and dying. Get off your ass and move. Instead of criticizing CrossFit, we need to look at it for what it is. And that is an exercise modality where a bunch of people get together in a group and train and encourage each other. And they have a community and that's fucking gorgeous. That's brilliant. It improves self-esteem. It improves output in the workplace. And um, <clears throat> it's just awesome. So instead of being so hypercritical about what's wrong, let's look at what's right. And if you have an opportunity to talk to a CrossFitter, encourage them. But maybe tell them, hey, you know what? If something hurts or your form's off, put the weight down, adjust it, lower the weight. You don't always have to hit that. I know that's kind of anti-CrossFit, but I've met CrossFit trainers who do that. So again, any training system, like Exos taught me, <clears throat> there's no right or wrong way. You know, we're gonna show you our method, but you can inevitably show, you know, throw your style. When I'm training kids at Campton United, bro, I have a hybrid training. I combine my love and knowledge and experience and strength training with the functional anti-injury training from Exos alongside some explosive movements I learned along the way from strength experts that I've trained alongside. Make it your own. CrossFit, all you wacky motherfuckers, I love you. And look, for all you internet cowboys, everybody make it fun at CrossFit. You don't normally look as good as the guys who do CrossFit. I'm just saying. Especially the girls. The CrossFit girls are muscular and fucking hot. Like seriously. Like CrossFit chicks are hot. Like even at the local CrossFit gym, when I'm driving to a basement gym in St. Charles, there's an, it's not CrossFit anymore. They lost their, um, they, they gave up their license. I think it's like exercise 333 or something. And you see those, they're, they're fucking hot. And the dudes are hot. Like, I'm bisexual when I drive by that place. These people are attractive. They're in shape. They're fit. Fuck yes. So look, don't cast stones if you live in a fucking glass house. All you fucking internet tough guys who think you're exercise experts, look, dude, you're not Mike O'Hearn. You're not Mike Rasheed. Your name's not even fucking Mike. You know who I'm talking about. You know these guys, every video they have, they're dogging things. They're just fucking putting things down. And I like these guys. I really do. I watch their videos. They're entertaining. But I, I think we all get in this us versus them mindset. I'm fucking 39 years old next month. 39 years old. Been married to the same woman that I've been with for 22 years. I'm over fighting, man. Like I used to fight with my wife. I don't fight anymore. Fuck that. She's in charge. 
Why can't we all just, hey, we're in shape. We train. You train different than me. A lot of people think I'm stupid for squatting every day. A lot of people think I'm stupid for letting my kids train with weights because they want to be epic when they grow up. Yes, I said let them. They want to do it. I'm just showing them the right way because I have the knowledge and the experience and the training and the mentorships to do so. This is a heartfelt, a heartfelt plea to everybody online. I know on YouTube it is very hard for you guys to not be assholes, especially in the comments section. Hear me out. Hear me out. You've seen a gradual change in Mark Lobliner. A lot of people get mad because I don't do rant videos. And I really need a reason to rant. I just ranted on the MLM company's advocate and stuff in her herbal life. That shit pisses me off. But generally speaking, I don't rant because I'm not mad. Like, I just do things better. You know, am I mad that some bars don't meet label claim? I don't think it's right. Am I upset that some bars were 80 calories over label claim and are still on the market. Yeah, it's bad, but what am I gonna do? Yell at them, do a video? Instead, I'll just come out with a better fucking bar and make it right. All we can do is help people. Let's just help, 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 help. That's all I'm asking. Stop listening to negativity. And if you do listen to it, laugh at it, because I do, it's funny. But at the end of the day, dude, we're all just people trying to better ourselves. No need to diss each other. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That's not a game.